So in this movie, we're going to go over the process of using GPS to store two points and then using the GNSS local transformation tool to set them up for a site calibration. You can see right now that I'm connected to my GPS unit and I've uploaded a CAD drawing that has some points from a little right of way. And we're just going to use points one and two as control points or as plan points. Uh, it's important to point out that I have the correct antenna height set and if I go to the control toolbar here I can see that I have a tolerance mode of RTK fixed set. So now we're going to take some measurements. So I'm going over to point one and I'm going to trigger a measurement. Now the tolerance mode dictates that we take a number of observations and now I'll store that point and I'm going to store this point as point 101 and I'm going to give it the description GNSS. Okay, one point is stored. We don't see it right now because if I go to the point database what we'll see is that my CAD drawing coordinates were all in the range of 5,000 and 1,000 and here you can see these are state plane or UTM values. So I'll close that. So now I'm going to move over to point 2 and I'm going to store a GPS point at that point. So you can see that I have the GPS unit positioned where point 2 is and I'll store another point. So this dialog confirms that it's passed the test applied by the tolerance mode so I'll store this point and I'll store it as 102 also with the description GNSS. There. Now we've got our field observations done and if I zoom to extents again then we'll see now that I have some GPS points stored and I have my CAD points stored. So now let's go to the plumb bob button to survey tools and to GNSS local transformation. So here's where I'm going to go to modify parameters to set up a site calibration. So I'm going to use the plane similarity method and for the parameters I'm going to pick on the option to calculate using control. I'll turn on the option to calculate scale. I'll turn off the op option to calculate stakes. Now I can pick on OK and that allows me, or that now gives me the option to modify control which is where I'm going to set up my point pairs. So here I'll pick add control. Now at the top it prompts me for local control and I'm going to use it for both horizontal and vertical. So for local control this is where we're selecting our plan or control or our cat point. So I'll tell it I'm going to start with point one. And then as we scroll down now we can see GNSS control. And so you'll notice how we have a number of options for setting this up. I'm just using select existing. If I had not yet taken a measurement for point 101, the one that matches with point one, I would be hitting the measure button. Here I'll go to select existing and I'll select point 101. Select that and as soon as I pick on OK, now we can see that we've got our first control point set. Here I'm going to add another one. This time I'll use it only for horizontal. This will be point two, that's the CAD point. Then I scroll down to GNSS and I'm going to match it to point one zero two. Pick on OK and now we have our control set. Now you can see as you scroll over you've got the coordinate values for the local north, local east and the elevation. And as I scroll further over we can see that we've got latitude and longitude values for the G GNSS shot. You'll also
also see that you have some residuals shown. Now the residuals are zero right now, and that's because I'm calculating a scale factor that accounts for any difference in distance between the two points. But if I want to see it the other way, I can go back to modify parameters, turn off the option to calculate scale. Let's go back into our control, and now you can see that there's a small residual because of the small difference in in the distances between the GPS points and the plan points. I'll just turn the option for scale back on. And now that we're happy with our calculated parameters, and now that I've confirmed uh, just by turning off the scale factor that the residuals would be very small with a control with without uh, using a scale factor, that tells me that my GPS measurements probably fairly closely match my CAD measurements. And so now all I have to do is adjust GNSS points. So what this will do is it will modify all of my GPS shots so that they're moved down uh, according to the transformation parameters that we've already calculated. So now when I close it, So now we can see that our GPS points and our control points have moved so that they appear the same on the screen. We can pick on the observation toolbar and page through and so we can see now that the GPS is outputting positions in that uh, CAD drawing coordinate system. We can also move to another point in the CAD drawing just as a check and we can go and stake it out just to see what the results are. There we can see that it's very close and I don't even need to complete the staking operation. I can just close that. So now we've established our site calibration and we can continue working on this job now. We can post points we can measure new points that will relate properly to the existing points in the CAD drawing. And in another video, I'm going to show you how, if we encounter more control points, we can add them to our control point set. Thanks for your interest in this video.